again. Welcome back to Children's Church with Miss Susan. I wanted to take a few minutes today to review a little bit about what we've talked about over the last few weeks. If you remember, we've talked about quite a few of the disciples. We talked about Peter and John and about how they um, were preaching Jesus' word and how they got arrested for that because some people didn't like it, and then how they escaped from prison. And we talked about Paul, how he did not know Jesus to begin with, but through different things that he went through, he learned about Jesus and he, he came to fall and, and follow Jesus and to love Jesus. And so today I want to tell you about um, an event that happened that kind of pulls all of those things together. Now, if you remember uh, on Easter, Jesus was crucified, died, and um, then he rose again and then he ascended into the heavens. At that time, he told the disciples that one day he would send the Holy Spirit back and, and, and he would, the, the, the disciples would know that it was Jesus. He would do something to show them uh, that Jesus was, was still around. And so the disciples had gathered on this particular day in a, ho in a home and they were praying and they were meditating and they were thinking about and talking about this promise that Jesus had made to them about um, sending the Holy Spirit to come back. Well, at the same time, out in the streets in the town, there was a festival going on because it was 50 days since Easter. And during that time, they celebrated um, this event and it's called Pentecost. Now, that's a funny word, isn't it? Can you say that with me? Pentecost. And what that literally translates to is the 50th day from Easter. So you can imagine, um, think about when you go to a parade or, or to a festival or to Disneyland and there's people all around. And these people were from all the different um, cities and so they all spoke different languages. So they're all around, they're talking, they're, they're greeting each other. And in the home, all the disciples are together and they're praying and they're meditating. And they're wondering what is going to happen? When is Jesus going to let us know that, you know, the Holy Spirit is here? Well, the next thing you know, the disciples start hear this low rumbling, and then it turns into a slight breeze. And the next thing you know, a wind just whooshes through the house and starts swirling all around. Well, the disciples are looking at one another like, oh my gosh, what is going on here? What, what is this wind coming from? And the next thing they knew, fire started, uh, uh, showed up above the top of their heads. So they had fire shooting out of the top of their heads. You can imagine, what would you do if fire was shooting out of the top of your head? I'd be freaking out. Well, that's exactly what the disciples did. They had no idea what was going on and they started to get scared. And then the next thing they did is they started speaking in different languages. Well, the people outside heard the commotion that was going on in the house. And they were thinking, these people in there must be crazy. What are they doing carrying on like that? The disciples came out into the, the town still with the fire over their heads and the wind is whipping around. The people have no idea what's going on. So Peter stands up and he starts speaking. But now remember, all the people around are from different countries. So they don't all speak the same language. But when Peter spoke, each and every one of them could understand what Peter was saying. That was the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit gave Peter the power to be able to talk to all the different people and to tell them about Jesus and to say, remember, Jesus said he would send a sign. He would let us know that the Holy Spirit was here. And, and I'm showing it to you now. And so all the people were amazed that they could understand one another and they came together and they began to talk about Jesus and share Jesus. And even more people got to learn about Jesus. And I think that's what God wants us to do in our world today. Now, obviously, he's not going to make fire come out of the top of our heads, but he does do something that I think is pretty special. I think when you share Jesus' love with somebody, you get a nice, warm, fuzzy feeling right here in your heart. Because that's Jesus's, Jesus letting you know that he knows that you're sharing his love. And he just wants us to do that um, for as many people that we can. He wants us to share his love in whatever ways we can, for as many people as we can, and as often as we can. And right now, during these crazy, challenging times, people need Jesus. We need to be the church. Um, the church is not just the building that we meet in on Sundays. The church is within us. And so God wants us to go out and share um, his love and church with other people. So go out this week and try to find somebody that you think needs to know Jesus and tell them about Jesus. Tell them Jesus loves them. Blow them a kiss. Give them a smile. Whatever you have to do to make sure that Jesus knows, that they know that Jesus loves them. 
And Jesus loves you so much. He's with you every day and everything that we do. Um, so I challenge you this week, share his love um, in, in as many ways as you can, okay? Are you guys ready to pray? Dear God, thank you for your love. Thank you for your blessings. Thank you for the Holy Spirit and help me to share his love with others. Amen. Great job, everybody. Don't forget to go to the website, BufordFirstUMC.org, and download the Bible story this week so you can see the whole story about Pentecost. And uh, download the uh, craft. I think you guys are going to enjoy it. And don't forget to send me pictures of your completed craft to children.director uh, at BufordFirstUMC.org. You guys have an awesome week. Stay safe and be blessed. Jesus loves you and Miss Susan does too. Bye. Ooh.